In this video, I want to help you understand how you can actually use AI to really get down and dirty with studying and preparing. If you're taking an exam or you're just trying to learn a new topic involving your uh, IT journey, then this video is for you. So, in fact, I want you to know I just created this little image using AI with literally one sentence, guy using AI to study. That's what I put in there and it created this image. So, pretty neat. If you're not familiar with, with AI, ChatGPT, this is going to be the video for you. Stay tuned. Here we go. Now, of course, one of the struggles that we have uh, when it comes to studying sometimes is just putting all the information together. Um, you've got instructors like myself that are doing their best to try to teach you and help you understand things in a, a way that you can uh, can grasp them but you know you also sometimes will go digging around about some obscure thing maybe that uh, you don't know the answer to and maybe something that's not covered in the course or maybe you are trying to understand an exam question better or maybe and this is hap this happens a lot people are very much out of the box thinkers and they think of like weird scenarios and weird solutions that uh, might fix a problem or do you wonder if that solution can fix the problem and of course uh, I know for me being an instructor I always encourage students to message me if you have a question uh, I definitely do my best to answer those questions as much as I possibly can alright however I want to show you that you can actually use AI to help you in grasping certain concepts okay so imagine you're you're looking you're wanting to look something up right you you just you're not quite understanding um, let's say that you are studying the uh, the concept of uh, autopilot deployment uh, in Windows Intune all right so you just Google search it right so you're doing an autopilot deployment with Windows Intune you do a search for that you're gonna come across all these articles Microsoft is really good about having the various articles to help you right you click on uh, maybe this link here enrollment in Windows uh, autopilot and you start getting overwhelmed because you see this massive uh, wall of text here and there's maybe certain things you don't quite understand you're not uh, quite grasping based on their information um, or maybe you just want to summarize the key important things that are in this article maybe you don't want to read the whole article maybe you would rather just have it summarized or the key points pointed out to you that are in this well this is the kind of thing that AI can help you with not only can can you you can copy and paste this information into AI and have AI uh, give you the key points of that article okay you could tell it to summarize it in two paragraphs if you want um, you could tell it to create you some uh, practice test questions on it I mean there's so many things there's things that you don't understand maybe you you don't understand a couple of the concepts like this user driven versus self deploying and you're not understanding that you could ask it what that is you can ask it to give you details on it and you'd be surprised how well it does at answering questions okay alright so let's see how we can uh, actually jump in and create an, uh, an account we're gonna do this with chat GPT and we're gonna test out some of the my uh, examples on using AI to help you study now one thing I wanna say real quick if you haven't already please give me a like and a subscribe I'm trying really really hard to build this channel provide free content and uh, and grow grow this channel and uh, hopefully be something very beneficial to everybody so I hope you'll do that also got a massive sale going on right now examlabpractice.com slash uh, courses I've released three new courses um, let's see go there yeah three new courses on examlabpractice.com slash courses right here SC200 in Microsoft Defender Microsoft Sentinel these are all on sale I think they're all right now 999 or somewhere around there uh, so go there if you want to check that out but again hope you'll give me a like and a subscribe all right thank you for uh, bearing with me there okay so the first thing I want you to do if you want to test this out on your own go to openai.com if you've never done this try chat GPT create yourself a free account takes 
couple minutes, very easy to do, and then you're going to get access to ChatGPT. Now that I've got in, I'm in the ChatGPT. Okay, now if I go over here, let's go back to that article. All right, and I just copy and paste. Let's copy and paste some of this article here. So we'll just copy it, and I'm going to paste it in. I'm going to say, "Can you summarize the key?" important facts in this article okay and then what I'll do is uh, I, this is how I would do it I would um, just copy and paste it in there okay and the thing you want to remember about working with AI chat GPT is you want to sort of talk to it just like it's a human okay so there we go we'll paste it in paste the data in and at that point it is going to start um, doing that look how fast that is so Windows Autopilot cloud-based service here are the key facts simplified deployment user-friendly prerequisites device registration group creation so it's gonna break all of that down and provide a little summary for you okay now uh, can you give me a multiple choice type question from that data watch this certainly here you go give me 10 here's 10 multiple choice questions on that all right so just an example of that right how quickly it can throw that together for you all right so let's go over here now and let's say that we are struggling with something let's say that we um, we uh, don't understand the difference between user driven and self deploying um, uh, deployment profiles. Can you explain user driven versus self deployment profiles in Intune? And remember, it keeps context with what you are uh, pasting in there. Certainly. So here you go. You get this nice little outline. Um, explaining the difference and you can go deeper can you give me more details on self deploying all right so here we go we're digging deeper sure so now it's 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 going deeper into using the self deployment okay all right give me three use cases for self deploying all right certainly here are three use cases public kiosk digital signage shared classroom computers see there see how helpful that is so if you're struggling with something you can definitely use this and if you've got a practice test maybe that you are taking that isn't providing a good enough explanation well, you can ask it questions based on that. If in some cases, if you got a practice test question that you can copy and paste into ChatGPT here, you can ask it, and it's going to provide you with some uh, some information. Okay, how about flashcards? Um, create me, uh, let's say, twenty flashcards based on the. Um, information you have provided here all right so certainly it's creating you 20 flashcards so you could create flashcards based on this information okay um, so you see how easy how easy it is to use this thing now this is chat GPT 3.5 um, it is not quite as up to date as ChatGPT4, but you do have to pay for ChatGPT4. ChatGPT 3.5 is really, really good though. It does a great job. Um, ChatGPT4, I think is like $20 a month or something like that, but 3.5 is completely free and uh, you can play around with it and uh, really get down and dirty with it. Anyway, I encourage you to try this out. You would be shocked at how well this thing can uh, answer questions and you know let me just think of some a, a random example I have an on-premise 
ADDS domain, that's Active Directory Domain Services Domain controller that is not replicating with its partner. Can you provide me with a troubleshooting checklist? So let's see what it says to that. Certainly. Okay, so here we go, a troubleshooting checklist on uh, troubleshooting domain controllers that aren't replicating. All right. It's even getting into DC Diag, which is pretty darn impressive, you know, using the DC Diag command and the NTDS util command. Those are some more advanced concepts. All right. Um, so let's say, say step 15 using NTDS. Can you give me more details on step 15? Certainly. Look at that. It's giving me a lot more information on the steps that would be needed for that. Okay. All right. How about can you create me a PowerShell script that will communicate with an ADDS domain controller to check replication and then send an email to my boss on the response. Certainly. So check that out. It's actually creating a PowerShell command that would know how to check for replication issues and provide the uh, e email that could be emailed to your boss on the results. Now, of course, there might be a little tweaking you have to do there. But anyway, I'm hoping I've opened your eyes to this, uh, how impressive this is for using it as a study tool. I know every test I take from this point on, I will be using ChatGPT or some form of AI to help me study, along with taking training courses and all of that, which of course uh, is, is very important in getting the visual and the hands on, but this is very helpful when it comes to um, just having your own little personal assistant that can answer questions and assist you. And of course, Microsoft does have their own AI co-pilot and eventually I'll probably show that off. Not everybody ha has access to it or can get access to it right now. This is why I'm showing you ChatGPT instead of co-pilot in case you're wondering, okay? But Microsoft's co-pilot is uh, you know, the big up and coming thing. All right, with that said, I really hope you'll give me a like and a subscribe. I'm trying really hard to grow this channel, uh, and I, I do realize that you do have to have a, a YouTube account to do that, and uh, I know that takes a moment uh, to create if you don't have that. I, I would appreciate you, uh, you uh, doing that. Keep in mind, I do give away a few of my courses a, a, a month free, usually, and I've got some of those coming up. So stay tuned. I'm going to be giving away some of my courses completely free here coming up to the first 100 people that put the code in that I uh, give away in the video and, and all that. So if you like and subscribe and ring the notification bell, you'll see all that. Don't forget examlabpractice.com slash courses. I'm really proud of the, of the newest three courses that I've released, which is SC200, Microsoft Defender, and Microsoft Sentinel. These are all, hopefully you'll find very, very good courses and you're going to learn a lot from them. All right, with that said, hope you're enjoying the content, and I'll talk to you in the next video.